to my channel my name is Rose if you're new welcome back before I start today's video, I also wanted to just touch on this. My channel is not so whatever a political channel, but just know that I'm praying for those in Syria, those who are affected by the Muslim ban. It just blows my mind. Just know that I'm praying for you and just know that you're not forgetting and you are going through a difficult time right now in life because we all know life ain't perfect, okay? I'll throw my hands up to that. Hello. Just know that I'm praying for you and I'm wishing the best for you, so just know that you have someone on your side. I love you guys. So, today's video is this. Hello, makeup look. Okay, it's a Valentine's Day makeup look. Anti. Lots of you guys requested this look, something dark, something a bit more not so sweet and pretty. So that's what I gave to you. So I hope you guys enjoy this look and let's begin. Hello, I love you one. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Okay, I'm moisturizing my lips because they were extra dry today. So this moisturizer is from Tata Harper. Also, my nail polish is Essie Stylonomics. It's perfect for fall. Check it out. I also went ahead and filled in my brows off camera, if you are wondering. First shadow I'm using is Real Girl. I'm applying this in the crease area of my eye. And this is just a nice orange-based eyeshadow. The second shadow I'm using is Love Letter. I'm going to place this right at the outer corner of the eye and then slowly but surely bring it up into the crease, but we want to keep it at the outer corner. And of course, my favorite blending brush that was just $4, okay? $3.49 with some tags. Heading back into the ABH palette, I'm using Venetian Red. I'm applying this at the outer corner of the eye, then I'm gonna bring it into that crease area. So there's a new formulation that I do when it comes to applying my shadows. First thing first is I apply the shadow and then I blend it. I blend every shadow to make sure my eyeshadow look is crisp and clean and just amazing and saucy. That's a new word. <laughs> now the only shadow I'm not using from the ABH palette is Makeup Geeks Corrupt. I wanted a black shadow for this look, but you can definitely do a dark brown if you would like to. I'm just slowly building this up at the outer corner of my eye. And this definitely takes time. Don't rush when it comes to black, okay? Because y'all know, once you go black, you don't go back. <laughs> but for real, just take your time and build it up, okay? I'm gonna grab some concealer. This is an LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm gonna use this to outline my lid area of my eye. This is just gonna make my lid shade look a bit more crispier and just very much pronounced. So then I'm going to go back into the ABH palette. I'm going to apply Primavera on the lid area of the eyes. It's just a gold shadow. I'm just using a flat top brush and this is from MAC. Then to really define that outer core of my eye, I love going in with a little bit of concealer just to really define that outer corner. For my brow highlight, I'm using Tempera from the ABH palette. <laughs> I totally forgot what I was using for a second. Holy Rose, hello. All right, guys, moving on to lashes. I legit love a good lash, okay? So I'm using these House of Lashes in Smokey, and they were the most hardest lashes to get on. I don't know, maybe because the band was very thick. So I went ahead in with House of Lashes Iconic. Uh, this is my first time ever using these lashes on camera. They have been my obsession. I'm mixing two different foundations together. The first one is from L'Oreal. The second one is from NYX, just to get the perfect color and coverage that I love. And I've been obsessed with this combo. You know if you follow me on Snapchat. For concealer today, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just applying this under my eyes using my Beauty Blender to blend it out. Then to bake under my eyes, I'm using my Ben 9. Yes, I know. I love it so much. It's so good. Ugh. I do love both the Ben 9 powder and Laura Mercier powder, if you're wondering. I actually love using them together even more. I'm sorry, your wallet is probably going to kill me for saying that, but you know, it's just the truth, okay? It's the truth. To smoke out the lower lash line off my eyes, I'm going to be using Venetian Red, and I'm just using a pointed eyeshadow brush. Then, right on top of that, I'm going to go into Makeup Geeks Corrupt just to darken it out a little, and then I go in with a little bit more Venetian Red, so I kind of mix those colors together, if you're wondering. And just remember just to take the time to blend out that under eye, just to really smoke it out. Then, to highlight the inner corner of my eye, I'm using Primavera, that color that we use on the lid of the eye. Isn't it just stunning? Then, of course, you want to go ahead and apply mascara. I'm using the Brow House Mascara on my bottom lashes. Let me know what's your favorite mascara down below. 
I don't have perfect lashes like every day like sometimes it is a struggle so just know all right I'm gonna move on to my highlight so for today's highlight I'm using makeup forever highlight and number two this is a pro light fusion highlight Then, lastly for my lips, I'm using ColourPop's Lux. Um, Why did I just discover this? Why didn't y'all tell me about this? It's gorgeous. This is my anti-V-Day look, okay? Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and subscribe down below. I love you. I'll see you soon. Adios.